In 2005, I came to the UK as an international student. I arrived at the Edinburgh airport with one suitcase and just about 11,000 pounds of cash after paying for my flight. I had no support or backing from my family, and this was all my savings from working at the United Nations in Tehran. That money was pretty much enough to pay for a year of my rent, food, and my partial scholarship at the university. Fast forward to 17 years later, there's no way that you could last for a whole year in the UK with 11,000 pounds. That's what's called inflation, and in this video, I will explain what it is, why it happens, and how it's relevant to you and your crypto journey and your financial well-being. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the Fempeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. Inflation is the percentage by which something expands, just like how you inflate a balloon. And you know what happens when you do too much of it. Imagine a village where people use apples as a medium of exchanging value. This is what we call legal tender, which means the official money accepted in a place. So in this case, apples are legal tender in this village. Now, all the apple trees in this village are owned by the Lord and his family who distribute the apples to the villagers in return for working on their farm. People can then take these apples to the market and exchange them for meat, vegetable, and other necessities. One morning, the Lord wakes up and decides to plant more apple trees. Soon, all the new apples distributed among people enter the market and all of a sudden, there is more apple than there are goods and supplies. So what happens? Everyone puts their prices up and requests more apples for their goods. So everything becomes more expensive. Now, you may wonder why this is a problem if the prices go up at the same rate as there is more apple in circulation. Well, the truth is that the increase in the supply of apples is not necessarily in sync with the amount of other goods and services that are available or even needed. And this throws the balance of the economy. For example, imagine if some people were saving their apples for when they grew old and they couldn't work anymore so that they could then use them to buy rice, meat, and vegetable. Well, now that there are all these extra apples in circulation, it means that the apples that these people work so hard to save lose their value. So these people will grow old in poverty. Now you may wonder why the government, um, I mean, the village lord, is flooding the market with apples. The simple answer is greed. As humans, we are wired to want more. In economic terms, we call this growth. Governments around the world use the need for growth as an excuse to keep adding money to the system. This leads to debasement of money, and I will explain it in more detail in another video. For now, I want you to remember that our money is like the apples in this village. Our governments have decided to keep printing money every year and flood the system with extra cash, which has led to higher and higher rates of inflation. In developing countries, this is even more prominent and there's so much more blatant corruption by governments. But it also happens in Western democracies only to a lesser degree and it's less obvious. Although that doesn't change the fact that it is happening in front of our eyes and will affect all of us. Bitcoin and other crypto assets have been trying to provide a way to overcome this situation by introducing the idea that money should not be owned by governments, which seems to be very logical to me. Imagine our village. It doesn't really make sense that the Lord owns all the apple trees. Instead, the apple trees should be owned by the public, where they all agree not to plant more of them to ensure that apples maintain their value over time and no one falls into poverty in their old age. The Bitcoin protocol is like an invisible contract between all of its users not to ever produce more of it, which prevents the inflation problem. Definitely something that our governments could learn from. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the Fempeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.